Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. A man was shot dead by a gunman at a bar in Porus, Manchester on Friday night. Police identified the deceased as O'Neill Henry, also known as Pasha, a farmer from Top Coffee Grove district near Porus. According to reports, Henry was among patrons at a bar. Around 9.30 p.m. when gunman opened fire, hitting him multiple times. Henry was subsequently found suffering from gunshot wounds at the step at the bar entrance of the bar. Since the start of the new year, Manchester has recorded three murders. A taxi operator died on Wednesday from injuries sustained after being beaten in the head during a dispute in Cockawalk, Manchester on Tuesday. Then on Friday, a man succumbed to gunshot wounds at hospital two days after being injured in a drive-by shooting in the troubled community of Greenville on the outskirts of Mandeville and Manchester. The police say they are following several theories regarding a small airplane that crashed in a section of LM in northeastern St. Elizabeth on Friday night. Police report that sometime after 7 p.m. Local authorities report receive reports of an incident and went to the location. A search was carried out and the wreckage of the two-engine plane was found. No person was found or any other items except the burned remains of the plane were found. The police reported. After 7 p.m. on Friday night, we were alerted to the information that a plane they have experienced some amount of difficulty and went down somewhere in the Marash area of Bray's River. An immediate search and rescue operation was launched. The various agencies were contacted to include the fire brigade and the military. It took about three hours where the wreckage of what appeared to be a two-engine plane was found in this area. The aircraft was fully burnt and there's an active investigation ongoing. No person was found, uh, no other items except for the burnt remains of the plane. Therefore, like I said, this investigation will expand beyond the St. Elizabeth Police. They've already made contact with other agencies to determine the, uh, the origin of, of the aircraft, as also to run the investigation to try and establish why this aircraft would have been here. The investigation is active at this time and therefore will allow the various agencies and the police to conduct a full and thorough investigation before we can make any other pronouncements surrounding uh, this incident. Are you concerned of things that is happening? Concerned, yes. We, we are not sure as to whether or not it was a difficult to the, the pilot experience or whether or not the, uh, the, there was an attempt to land it in this area. There is certainly a history surrounding this particular area. Um, there are a number of theories floating around, uh, one of which is that the, the plane was was attempting to land. And so we will allow the experts and the various forensic persons to do their checks and, and their investigations. And then a more conclusive uh, determination can be made. A woman was arrested after the seizure of a firearm in Mansfield Heights Outrest sentence on Friday night. Her identity is being withheld pending further investigation. Reports indicated that at about 10.50 p.m., the police were conducting an operation in the community where a business establishment was searched. During the search, a 9mm pistol with an empty magazine was reportedly found behind a refrigerator. The woman was subsequently arrested. Investigation into the incident are ongoing. Meanwhile, a resident of Mansfield Heights who requests anonymite expressed relief at one more weapon being off the street. I just moved here and sometimes I heard explosion like gunshots and I get scared. So to hear that one more gun has been taken away, I feel good, he said. More than seven firearms have been seized in Jamaica since the start of 2024. The Jamaica Constable Force JCF is reporting that several intelligence-led operations were carried out in the first week of the new year and they lead to the seizure 
of 18 firearms, including three rifles. Almost half of the 18 were seized in police area. Three, with St. Elizabeth and Clarendon together, accounting for eight illegal weapons. Now off the street, a release from the police high command has stated, the corporate area division of St. Andrew, North and St. Andrew Central, account for another six. Of the seizure, while the street of St. James are now safer following the seizure of four guns, ten persons have been taken into custody in the connection with the seizure. The police continue to urge persons with information that can lead to the seizure of illegal guns and the arrest of gunmen and gangsters to call Crime Stop. At 311, the National Intelligence Bureau, NIB tip line, at 811, the police 119 number or the nearest police station. A 30 years old man and a 17 years old boy have been slapped with several charges in relation to an incident in Spanish Town which saw a gunman trying to kidnap a man from his place of work and also trying to demand $100,000 for the safe return of the victim. The efforts of criminal were warranted as cops led an intelligence driven operation. One of the alleged perpetrators was shot and killed and two other suspects were held. The man has since been charged with conspiracy to kidnapping an unauthorized position of ammunition and using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony. Reports from the police are that at about 7.30 a.m. the complainant was taken from his workplace at gunpoint and was taken to a location in Spanish Town where Williams demanded money for the victim's safe return. A report was made and Anderson was arrested by a team of officers who act on information and perform an intelligence-led operation to save the hostage. Both men were arrested and charged after a question and answer session in the presence of their attorney. Their court date are yet to be finalized. A 47 years old carpenter who pleaded guilty to bridges of the dangerous drug act was fined $450,000 or 9 months in prison at hard labor when he appeared before the corporate era parish court on Friday, January 5. He is Mark Spencer, a carpenter of Newland District, Windsor Castle, Portland. Spencer was slapped with a fine by parish court judge Mrs. P. Blake Powell following an April 23, 2021 incident in which a 0.2 kilograms of cocaine was found in his position. After Laman searched a Toyota Succeed motor car, Spencer was driven. The fine was made during an operation by the narcotics police on Mountain View Avenue, Kingston. He was fined $150,000 or three months in prison for a possession of cocaine or $300,000 or six months imprisonment for dealing in cocaine. 